Hello, my name is Rafael Dez. In today's video, we will discuss Fisher Hydraulic Front Loader Extension Arm and PG Scissor Trimmer. To start with, I will explain how to attach Fisher, and then we will discuss all the technical aspects and equipment of the set. Finally, we will discuss the controls of the set. The first step is to attach Fisher to the carrier. Thanks to the interchangeable frame system, the set can be combined with various carriers. These can be tractor front loaders, telescopic loaders, etc. After mounting the carrier to the set, connect hydraulic hoses and the electric cable supplying the control panel. Remember to first connect all electrical connectors between the machine and the panel. The last step must always be to connect the panel to the vehicle's power supply. Reverse order of connection may damage the control panel. The presented set requires two hydraulic sections. The first one is responsible for movement of hydraulic cylinders, and the second one is responsible for the head drive. The cylinders have a choke valve that regulates their speed, unlike the PT head. The PG scissor trimmer does not require a case drain on the head supply section. Fisher has support stands, which we put on when detaching the set from the tractor. Fisher has been assigned to work with PT and PG heads. However, these attachments can also be used with extension arms. The heads designed to work with Fisher are marked with the letter F in their names. To work properly with the PG head, the hydraulic capacity of the carrier should oscillate between 45 and 60 liters of oil per minute. When placing your order, Remember about the optional counterweight, which is also available in Sama's offer. The carrier has a gas spring which acts as a safety device in this machine. PG and Fisher are mounted together with metal bolted plates and hydraulic hoses with quick couplers. Before starting your work, remember to disassemble a cutter bar guard. The trimmer has two wear-resistant steel cutter bars, a fixed lower one and a sliding upper one driven by a hydraulic cylinder. The double-acting cylinder is controlled by a check valve and the change in the direction of movement is made by switching a limiting sensor or increasing the pressure in the hydraulic unit. Before starting work, remember to grease the machine. The greasing points are marked with a sticker showing a grease gun. The maximum cutting diameter of a branch is 100 millimeters. Now, I will discuss the controls. Two hydraulic sections are needed to operate the set. The first section drives the PG when the constant flow of oil is turned on. The second section is responsible for operating the cylinders. The panel is used to select either the side shift cylinder or the rotation cylinder. The orange LED diode on the left side selects the side shift cylinder.
When the right LED diode is on, the head rotation cylinder is selected. Thank you for your time. And remember to read the operator's manual before starting your work.